Namaste. You know, when I first started doing videos and uploading stuff to YouTube, I used to wonder, why isn't there any, like, really advanced stuff on YouTube? Uh, why are they giving just, you know, kind of beginner level materials? Why aren't they showing, like, the real esoteric rituals? Why aren't they talking about the uh, real confidential knowledge and stuff like that? Now that I've been doing this video stuff for more than 10 years, I think I understand why. You reach a level of realization, a level of reality that is simply indescribable. It's just beyond words. And since words are all I really have here, it's, it's not the kind of thing that lends itself well to this medium. You know, the saying, the medium is the message, right? Good old Marshall McLuhan. Anyway, <laughs> he got that one right. That the very format of a video uploaded to, to the internet, anywhere on, on the internet, is appropriate for certain subject matters and not at all appropriate for others. So what to do? What to do? When a devotee or a meditator or a spiritual aspirant reaches the really, really high stages, when the contact with the Absolute becomes tangible, permanent, and in real time, the, I mean, the, the bliss and satisfaction that one derives from this yoga, this is the real meaning of yoga, is simply beyond words. It's beyond any description. And, and this is what it's all about. This is what all the philosophy, all the puja, all the meditations and so on is all about. This relationship with God. And one gets to the point where it's enough you know, it's enough just to uh, sit and chant japa. Om Namo Shivaya, Om Namo Shivaya. It's, it's not, there's nothing else needed. Seriously. I read a beautiful story in Shiva Purana about a young boy. Simple young country lad. And there was some problem in his family. So he was at the temple one morning and he heard that simply by propitiating Shiva with the, the most basic mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, that everything was available, every kind of benediction, every kind of benefit. And that no elaborate temple worship or rituals or highly technical yoga practices or deep philosophy is necessary. I mean, it's nice if you can engage in these things, but it's not necessary. That's the point. So he said, all right, I have to solve this problem somehow. So that's what I'm going to do. And he went and sat down by a river, happened to be a, a sacred river, the Narmada, 
which is actually identical with Shiva. <laughs> and he made a little lingam, a Shiva lingam, out of mud. Huh? And then he was offering, bathing this lingam with water from the sacred river and repeating the mantra, Aum Namah Shivaya. I mean, this is like the simplest mantra, <laughs> the easiest, most basic, most direct mantra. It also happens to be the most powerful. So he was repeating this mantra again and again. And after some time, he developed love for Shiva. And so Shiva became manifest. And he offered him all benedictions. The boy was so satisfied, he said, actually, I don't want any of these material things. I don't want any high position or wealth or fame or any of that stuff. I simply want to be your eternal devotee and be in your association for all time. And Shiva said, yes, everything, whatever you want, is yours. See, this is Shiva. Other gods, and especially I'm thinking of Vishnu, are very difficult to propitiate. You have to get, like, a recommendation from a guru or a saint or even a demigod. You know, it's, all, it's almost like you have to make an appointment. <laughs> He's hard to see. He's hard to uh, propitiate. It takes a long time. And a lot of knowledge and a lot of technical things uh, that you have to do to propitiate Vishnu. And even then, you know, he may, he may give or he may not give. But Shiva is open to everybody. You know, no appointment necessary. <laughs> no intermediary required. Although, again, if you can find a qualified guru, if you can find good association, that's highly recommended. But it's not required. You can simply start chanting, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. And Shiva <laughs> will very easily and quickly reveal himself, and then maybe you'll feel the same way as that boy in the story, or the way I feel, that this is enough. Just to be in touch, just to be in contact with Shiva within, this is the most wonderful benediction imaginable. Actually, it's unimaginable. You can't imagine how wonderful it is. It's not possible. You know, I've been studying this stuff for a long time, more than 50 years, actually like 60, more than 60 years. And I've read extensively in the Vedic scriptures, and I have a lot of experience with Vishnu Puja and Buddhist meditation, I studied with authentic teachers in the home culture of these paths. And still, I was unable to imagine <laughs> the, the wonderful uh, benediction when Shiva becomes manifest or when he becomes available within. Actually, he's always within because he is the self, Atma. And so he's there all the time. We just have to turn to him and call him, you know, hello, Shiva, <laughs> Namah Shivaya, <laughs> Aum, Namah Shivaya. It's that simple. There's no need for thousands of videos and hundreds of pages of books. Although, if you like to read books, there are plenty of good books available. There are plenty of good videos and instructions available. If you like that stuff, that's fine. 
You know, Shiva gives benedictions even to the demons. Even if they're going to misuse them. And he knows. Of course he knows. But he gives. And he lets them get themselves in trouble. And then he comes and, and corrects everything. That's his nature. If you please him, he'll give you whatever you want. But you have to have the intelligence not to ask for something that's going to result in bad consequences for you or anyone else. Really, the only thing that's appropriate in my way of thinking is to ask Shiva for his eternal association, to ask Shiva for bhakti, for love, because this is the source of real ecstasy. Now, I'm going to play a couple of clips from this morning's puja at the temple. Uh, I want you to see what real temple worship is like and how ecstatic and beautiful it is. And I don't know, I'm really not in the mood for making videos these days. <laughs> but this is extraordinary and you have to see it. It's a real treat. Aung Tat Sat, Aung Shakti Aung, Aung Namah Shivaya. Deva, Mata Jaki Parvati Pita Mahadeva, Ek Dant Dayavant Char Bujadari, Masak Sindur So Musaki Savari, Andan Ko Aak Dit Kodan Ko Kaya Vajan Ko Butra Dit Nirdan Ko Maya, Pan Chade Pool Chade Aur Chade Meva, Ladvan Ka Bhog Lagi Shant Kare Seva, Sori Shami Sarle Aay, Sapal Ki Ju Seva, Jai Gani Se Jai Gani, Jai Gani Se Deva, दीनन की लाज रखो संत सुखवारी कामना को पूर्ण का जाहु बलिहारी जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश देवा माता जाकी जय कार्जुन भगवान की जय काशी विश्वनाथ भगवान की जय रामेश्वर महादेव की जय रामेश्वर महादेव की जय महादेव की जय देव की जय महादेव की जय महाकालेश्वर महादेव की जय पतिनाथ भगवान की जय त्रिमकेश्वर महादेव की जय सच्चे महाप्रभु की जय हर हर महादेव शंभु काशी विश्वनाथ गंग बोल शंकर भगवान की जय हो केदारनाथ भगवान की जय